on the range today, so please bear with gunfire here in the background. Recently, someone sent me a request to see a demonstration of a shotgun loaded with coins, so we did that. But that led to a lot of other requests of people wanting to see all kinds of strange things shot from a shotgun. They wanted to see batteries and Black Widow spiders and so on. And I don't want to turn this into an ongoing series on all the weird things you can shoot out of a shotgun. There's already a few people dedicating a lot of time to that subject. So as fun as it might be to load a shotgun with a mouse or a moss-covered three-handled credenza, we're not going to do that. However, there is a request that I get fairly frequently, and that is people want to see a demonstration of a shotgun loaded with rock salt. Well, the first thing you might ask is, why would you load a shotgun with rock salt? Well, this is a subject I've heard about off and on for most of my life. And the idea is that it will make a non-lethal round, and those rock salt chunks will penetrate the intended target just a little bit making a minor but very painful wound. And legend has it that farmers would use such a configuration to fend off kids that were trying to steal pumpkins or something like that. Now, I hand load for various rifle and handgun cartridges, but not for shotguns. So to shoot a rock salt, I'm going to use my double-barreled muzzle-loading shotgun. And it's manufactured by Fab Army FLLI Pieta Gusago BS Italy, and imported from Navy Arms. And as a test medium, we're going to use the meat target. And forgive the redundancy, but the meat target is leather jacket skin, followed by pork steak, pectoral, pork ribs, a watermelon to simulate lung tissue, more pork ribs on the back, four layers of t-shirt on the front, four layers on the back, and the whole thing followed by the new and improved high-tech police bullet stop. And so we'll shoot this with the rock salt and see what kind of results we get. But in asking what kind of results are we going to get, you have to ask that in the guise of what results compared to what. Well, I have my shotgun loaded with 100 grains of 3F black powder and two ounces of number four lead birdshot. And I'll shoot the meat target from 10 yards. We'll see what kind of results. Then we'll shoot another meat target with the rock salt and compare. So we see our pork steak pectoral is pretty well thrashed. As far as our ribs on the front, a lot of the pellets are stuck in the ribs. A lot went clear through. Quite a few went into the watermelon, but it looks like none went completely through the watermelon. So what this shows us is our number four bird shot at 10 yards, although it might not make an immediately incapacitating wound, will make a very serious, potentially lethal wound without timely medical intervention. Now I've got a new meat target set up, and I've got the shotgun loaded with 100 grains of 3F black powder and a measurement that I'm gonna call a handful of rock salt. And again, I'll shoot from 10 yards. In my initial examination of the target, the first thing I see is no chunks, but a lot of powdered salt stuck to the t-shirt on the front of the target. I do see some chunks of salt stuck in the first layer of fleece up here. Really interesting thing is that right here is the wad. But I'm seeing very little evidence to show that any chunks of salt actually went through the t-shirt. Let me take the meat target apart and see what it looks like. Here's the front of our meat target, and as we saw, the wad did not penetrate the t-shirt, but there's a very big dent in the front of our meat target made by that wad. That would have hurt. But as far as the rock salt, I do not see any blemish on the front of this target that indicates in any way that any of the salt made it through the t-shirt. So although rock salt might have some marginal effectiveness at close range against a streaker, it looks like if your target's fully clothed, it isn't going to be worth much. And that's not even mentioning the terrible effect that salt can have on your barrel if you don't diligently clean afterwards. And there's also the legal aspect of although this is certainly less than lethal, you still shot somebody with a shotgun. So, don't try this at home, I'm what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the Rock Salt in Your Shotgun video.